welcome to edumet today we are discussing about script typhus script typhus script typhus is also known as bush typhus is a disease caused by an intracellular gram negative bacterium orangea susugamushi next we'll discuss about this organism orangea susugamushi as i said earlier it's a gram negative bacterium which is belongs to the family rickettsiae and this rickettsiae family consists of two major species rickettsia species and orangea species rickettsia species mainly causes spotted fever and orangea species causes typhus fever and this scrub typhus causing orangea susugamushi belongs to orangea species the major mode of spread of scrub typhus is arth- through arthropod vectors like lice mites fleas hard ticks mice etc types of typhus there are three major types of typhus are there epidemic typhus endemic typhus and scrub typhus and this classification is mainly based upon the vector which causing the typhus epidemic typhus is mainly spread through the vector loves and its incubation period is around 1 to 3 weeks and the symptoms produced in epidemic typhus is mostly feverish symptoms like malaise myalgia headache conjunctivitis etc and the major complications includes meningoencephalitis splenomegaly pneumonia oliguric renal failure next we'll discuss about endemic typhus the major vector which is spreading endemic typhus includes rodents and rat fleas etc it's a milder form of epidemic typhus next scrub typhus scrub typhus is mainly spread through the vector mites it's also known as tigers as you can see it in the figure and it appears the symptoms appears in about 5 to 7 days and its incubation period is around 9 days and after the biting it leaves a cigarette burn scar look look like a cigarette burn scar in the body and the major symptom of scrub typhus is erythematous maculopapular rash which as you can see it in the figure and other symptoms include intermittent fever cough malaise the major complications of scrub typhus is cardiac failure renal failure and hemorrhage as uh, this scrub typhus is mainly affecting uh, the cardiovascular system and lungs pathogenesis first step is colonization this bacteria mainly parasitizes inside the intestinal tract of arthropod vectors like lice mites tigers etc and the next step is infective stage this infection mainly spreads to humans through the bite of this mites the organism mainly presents in the excreta or saliva of the arthropod vectors and when uh, this infective stage over the infection mainly occurs in the lymph node of humans and it also affects the endothelial cells and after affecting the lymph node the bacteria circulates through the blood vessels and it is then attaches to the endothelial cells of the blood vessels the next step is endothelial proliferation and after attaching to endothelial cells it begins proliferating and this after this proliferative phase our immune system get reacted and produces perivascular reactions and the major symptom is then appears that is the maculopapular rashes the major organs affected by scrub typhus includes cardiovascular system and the lungs and it will results in complications like cardiovascular dysfunction pneumonia scrub typhus is mainly diagnosed on the basis of clinical history the presence of a uh, bite mark in the body and the presence of maculopapular rashes all over the body feverish symptoms etc the next step is serological examination of the presence of the organism 
uh, it's done through mainly PCR. Treatment approaches. The major antibiotic which is effective against this rickettsia species is tetracycline antibiotic and the drug of choice is doxycycline or tetracycline. And the doses normally uh, given doses of tetracyclines are 500 mg 4 times uh, per, per day, doxycycline 200 mg OD and we also opt for chloramphenicol uh, which is uh, given at a dose of 500 mg 4 times a day. Other antibiotics preferring um, against this uh, scrub typhus includes ciprofloxacin which is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic which is also effective against this organism. And if tetracycline resistance produced in any person, we will opt for rifampicin. And the prophylaxis dose of scrub typhus is doxycycline, which is given at a dose of 200 mg weekly. It's all about the treatment approaches of scrub typhus. And the major prevention strategies we can adopt for fighting against this scrub typhus includes the eradication of arthropod vectors. For that purpose, we can use insecticides like DDT, malathion, which is effective against these um, arthropod vectors, and control of rodents, and also maintenance of a good hygiene. Uh, we can keep our en environment um, clean and tidy for uh, eradicating these arthropod vectors. And we can also prefer by wearing uh, protective clothing by covering all over the body so that we can prevent the bites of these mites of mites and chickens. Thank you.